Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to do an instant replay. And this is a feature I, I just found. I was just messing around, looking through the menus, and I noticed that there was an instant replay. So I said, let's go ahead and figure this thing out. So where I found this was in the modify menu up here. It's right here. It says instant replay. So what it's going to do is whatever you select, the area you select, it's going to make a copy of that. And then you pick the speed if you want it at full speed, slow motion, slower, slower. What it's going to do is it's going to duplicate the area you selected and then allow you to choose the speed that it plays back. If you want the instant replay to be at the 100% or if you want it at 50%, etc., etc. et cetera. So let me show you how you do it. Let me just grab this Toyota here on the highway. I'm going to lower the sound just in case. I don't want to blare the speakers. I'm going to find that area that I want which is right about here. I'm gonna hold the R key down and then I'm gonna drag with my trackpad or mouse. And I pretty much only want like that little bit right there. Then I'm gonna let go. So I have that area selected. Then I'm gonna go up to the modify here. I'm gonna go to instant replay and I'm gonna do 50%. So let's go ahead and play this and you'll see what iMovie did. So what iMovie did was it duplicated it and it also threw in a nice animation and then whatever percentage I selected, it actually slowed down or it kept the video going at its normal 100%. And at the end, you'll notice that instant replay graphic there actually just kind of slides off and then we're back to normal speed. So that's a pretty cool little feature. I've never even noticed it before. And it looks like, can we edit this thing? Running. For tacos. Okay, and we'll go ahead and select it to see what happens if we do that. Okay, that's pretty cool. Running for tacos. And then it disappears and ramps back up to its normal speed. So that's a pretty cool little feature there. I totally never saw this before. I mean, I, I knew I could create it manually if I really wanted to, but it's nice that Apple kind of threw that in there. And, and this thing kind of saves you a lot of time for not having to do it manually. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, I think that's it for today's tutorial. I want to thank everybody for watching. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button and write a comment, something about running for tacos <laughs> or something. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace and aloha.